Before we get started with the video, I'd like to point out that we have reached 1,000 subscribers. Oh my god, guys, this is so insane. Thank you so much for your support. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure that you are a subscriber. Hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up no matter what. That being said, let's get on with the video. <laughs> Over here we have the spider siphon, the spider crammer, the spider crusher, and the spider dispenser. Which outputs spiders that can be killed in a single hit. Here's a better view of the entire machine. Disconnecting the clock, the theory of operation is very simple. Powering the bottom trace opens the spider crusher and spider intake trap door. Powering the top trace opens the spider crusher and spider dispenser, which activates the spider dispenser spider flush system. This also relies on a tad bit of quasi-conductivity, which is a little less weird with torches compared to other sources of power. To automate spider intake and spider flushing, the design employs an inverting repeater loop for timing. These 10 repeaters are the only ones needed for the entire design. A properly timed pulse can be generated from a line of repeaters. When a signal changes on one side, only one end is going to be on, and the other end is going to be off, since the signal has not yet propagated through the circuit. Just stick some torches on it so it does what I want it to do. And of course this doubles as the clock as well. This forms the pulse control circuitry highlighted in cyan, also noting that the upside down slabs here are important, as they only allow redstone signals to travel upwards but not downwards, to stop it from screwing up the timing. But then this begs the question, why spiders? And my answer to this is numbers. Here in this world that I used to play on with some friends, there are 5 cave spider spawners close together. This means there are 5 times more spawns compared to a single spawner. Each spawner should have a 9x9 square of rectangular space cleared out, and 3 blocks of vertical space. The spiders should fall into flowing water, which should all flow away from the walls. This is key to not getting them stuck. A large number of signs comes very handy here. These channels can be connected together and all lead to a single point, where the spider siphon can siphon the spiders. Albeit an older version of the design is present here. And this also has a place where you can actually click the spiders. And now I'm going to build one in survival mode in my server that nobody is playing on anymore. There's quite a few stunning builds from my friends here, and from the replicas present, one can tell that these players really like... Minecraft. The design is quite cheap, so there's not much building supplies required. There's already a pair of spider spawners I can vandalize, so I'm going to use those. As for the walls, we don't need walls since the spiders aren't supposed to touch them anyways. As long as there's water flow away from the walls, it should be good. Wait, no, there's no walls. Why did I say...
This should be the siphon and the crammer done. Just going to grab a few emerald blocks since I hoarded these but never really used them. I also realized that I need wheat to make some target blocks, so I'm just gonna... Oh, okay. Just nab some wheat over here. Piston, piston. I just took some screenshots and I'm just copying off of the screenshots that I took. Crusher is working. The dispenser is working too. Now it's time for the clock. Um, that looks like it's working. Now it's time for the pulse circuitry. Something is uh, sc screwed up with it. It's built exactly the same way, but it's probably facing a different direction, so the redstone update order is different. I don't want to rant about how redstone can be implemented very efficiently, but maybe later. So I diagnosed it, it just needs an extra repeater here and now it works. Spider time. The spiders are dying, and that's probably because I need to adjust the repeater, because of that extra one that I added. Now it's good. Now I can click the spiders, the spiders die, and the numbers go up. Uh... You know, you know, I don't ever want to make another video like this again. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Heck.